Hi. Hello. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bien. All right. Bueno, vamos a esperar uno o dos minutitos más porque obviamente van a ingresar más compañeros y vamos a dar la bienvenida del curso y las generalidades del mismo, ¿ok? Ok, buenas noches a todos y todas nuevamente. Mi nombre es Jessica Cerritos, ¿me escuchan? Hola, ¿me escuchan? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Todos y todas me sí. pueden escuchar? Ok, perfecto. Sí, se la escucha. Gracias. Ok, so, mi nombre es Jessica Cerritos y voy a ser eh, la instructora de este curso para ustedes, ¿verdad? Que damos inicio eh, ahora y vamos a ir terminando ya por el 16 de julio más o menos. Solo eh, preguntarles a todos y a todas si ya tienen acceso a la plataforma de aprendizaje. Perfectamente. Sí, sí. ok, okay. Sí. perfecto. Sí. sí, los demás, sí. Sí. Ok, sí. perfecto. Sí, la, la siguiente pregunta es, ¿pudieron accesar a ella? Sí, sí. sí, sí. también. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Eh, ¿Algún problema? ¿Todo estaba bien con los enlaces y todo? ¿Sí? ¿No les falló? ¿Pudieron entrar sin ningún problema? Sí. Okay. ok, perfecto. Ok, entonces vamos a empezar, ¿verdad? Como eh, es costumbre para nosotros es darle la bienvenida a este programa, ¿verdad? Que se les ofrece a ustedes de lunes a jueves, una hora diaria, eh, de 8 a 9 como corresponde en este grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros siempre grabamos eh, las clases por la única razón que es para ayudarles a ustedes en el sentido, digamos, hoy el compañero Iván no pudo entrar a clase, entonces él quiere saber qué pasó en clase, qué expliqué yo, ¿verdad? Entonces él puede accesar a la lista de YouTube que también está dentro de la información que les enviaron en el correo. Él puede accesar a la, a la lista de YouTube y ver el video de la clase de anoche, digamos, o de la clase que vamos a dar ahora. Entonces, usted siempre puede accesar a ella para que no se pierda, digamos, la explicación o algo que usted um, haya, cree que pudo haber pasado en clase y de repente usted dice, voy a ver, a ver qué pasó. O quizás sí estuvo en clase, pero de repente es como, ah, volver a ver el video, un poco del video para recordarme cómo era la explicación de este tema. ¿Verdad? Entonces, por esa razón se graban las... Las clases siempre y en la siguiente mañana, y eso de las 9 de la mañana, ya está subido el video de la, no, de la clase anterior, ¿verdad? Con eso en mente, eh, también quiero explicarles un poco sobre la dinámica que tenemos 
y, en la, y el reglamento interno, digamos. Eh, se les pide de favor que los micrófonos los mantengan apagados, ¿verdad? Para igual, así como están ahorita, que está perfecto, eh, para que la explicación, que en este caso la doy yo, usted pueda entenderla, escucharla sin ninguna interferencia, ¿verdad? A veces tenemos, eh, si usted vive solo o, tiene, o no hay mucha gente alrededor, pues no hay ningún problema que usted pueda tener su micrófono encendido. Pero si digamos hay mucha gente o hay niños, o de repente es como muy transitado por donde usted vive, entonces sí es recomendable que usted tenga su micrófono apagado y en el momento que usted tenga una duda o quiera opinar sobre algo, perfectamente usted puede activar su micrófono y puede opinar, ¿verdad? O hacer la pregunta que usted necesita realizar en ese momento, ¿verdad? Eh, otra de las cosas que yo sí les pido, acuérdense que el inglés es como muy comunicativo, ¿verdad? De, eso por, de hecho, por en este curso para practicarlo y para podernos comunicar. Entonces, yo sí pediría, si es posible, no es obligación, pero si es posible que usted tenga su cámara encendida, ¿verdad? Puesto que me es más fácil comunicarme con usted, ya que no estamos presencialmente, ¿verdad? Pero yo puedo ver su gesto, su rostro, decir, yo estoy explicando algo, pero de repente veo al compañero Amilcar que le hace así, es como que no entiendo, me es más fácil identificar, ¿verdad? Y decir, ah, bueno, entonces vuelvo a explicar, o le pregunto a Amilcar, ¿está bien con el tema o necesita que le vuelva a explicar? Pero si usted tiene su camarita apagada, pues no sé, ¿verdad? Si me está entendiendo, si de hecho está allí, ¿verdad? Porque a veces pasa que yo pregunto, por ejemplo, le digo, Fátima, y tal vez Fátima se acaba de levantar en ese momento, y yo soy Fátima, Fátima, ¿verdad? Entonces me es como difícil saber si usted, usted está ahí o no. Entiendo que muchos no quieren, pues por eso decía que no es obligación, pero puesto que esto es un proceso de aprendizaje, sí sería bueno como que nos comunicáramos de esa forma, ¿verdad? Así es que si a usted le parece, eh, le pediría de favor que encienda su camarita siempre, ¿verdad? Para poder comunicarnos de esa forma. Eso con respecto a ese tema. Luego, eh, alguien me podría preguntar, teacher, ¿y es obligación estar todas las noches con usted? Pues así como que obligación, no, pero sí. ¿Verdad? Usted puede decir, ah, ¿cómo está eso? Eh, pues es por su, por su aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que la plataforma está abierta 24-7, el tema está allí, pero el tutor o la tutora del video eh, de repente solo tiene tres minutos para explicar algo o menos. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es como a veces nos quedamos como no entendí mucho o no sé qué más, puede, qué más podemos saber sobre ese tema. Entonces, por eso están las videoclases, ¿verdad? Las videoconferencias para despejar dudas. Eso me lleva a la metodología que es la siguiente. La plataforma está ahí, 24-7, disponible para usted en el momento que usted quiera accesar a ella, ¿verdad? Lo que yo voy a hacer en las noches que nos reunamos yo voy a ver, eh, obviamente yo sé los videos y sé el tema, entonces lo que yo hago es explicarles y ahondar sobre ese tema, el mismo tema que está en el video de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para que no se nos quede corto lo que está explicado en la plataforma, pues yo explico un poco más, ahondo un poco más, obviamente practicamos y hacemos ejercicios. Ahora, los ejercicios que están dentro de la plataforma, eso los hace usted, en su tiempo, ¿verdad? Por eso la plataforma está abierta 24-7 cuando usted tenga tiempo y de hecho tiene que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Usted puede accesar a los ejercicios y hacerlos, ¿verdad? Eh, me, me dice ahí Eugenia que no me escucha. ¿Los demás sí me escuchan? ¿Sí? Okay. Eugenia, ¿no será un problema de, su, de sus audífonos o su micrófono? ¿Verdad? Revise ahí, por favor. ¿Verdad? Porque creo que los demás sí me están escuchando. Entonces, esa es la forma de trabajar, ¿verdad? Todas las noches yo le voy a presentar una o dos presentaciones de PowerPoint, dependiendo sobre el tema, para explicarles un poquito más, asignarles ejercicios. Eh, acá yo los puedo mandar a grupos pequeños y de hecho lo vamos a hacer para que usted practique con sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Yo puedo accesar a los mini grupos que se hacen dentro de Zoom y voy a, voy a entrar para ver si Marta y Armando están eh, haciendo el, el, la, el los ejercicios y si tienen alguna pregunta. Y así voy grupo por grupo para ver si ustedes tienen alguna duda, alguna inquietud o de verdad no entendieron o algo pasó.
¿verdad? Entonces, eso con eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, si es importante, yo le sugiero que usted vea la, los, los videos y la antes de la clase, porque es el mismo tema que yo voy a reforzar. Entonces, entiendo que todos trabajan, ¿verdad? Y de repente no tuvieron tiempo para eh, poder ver la plataforma antes, ¿verdad? No se preocupe, es el mismo tema. Igual le va a funcionar si vio mi clase y después va a la plataforma y dice, ah, es que de eso está hablando la teacher. Pero creo que es mejor si usted lo ve antes, ¿verdad? Pero igual a usted se conoce y sabe cómo lleva su proceso de aprendizaje, entonces no hay ningún problema. Eh, y de eso con respecto a mi metodología. Luego vamos con la plataforma. Creo que la mayoría ya entró y ya la vio, ¿verdad? Usted ya se dio cuenta que hay ejercicios que nosotros le llamamos knowledge checks, ¿verdad? Entonces esos son ejercicios que usted debe realizar. Eso no es si usted quiere. Eso es su compromiso, su responsabilidad, ¿verdad? De que usted pueda, usted debe hacer los ejercicios de la plataforma. Siempre. Entonces, la idea es, nosotros eh, por semana vemos una sección y un poquito más de la siguiente sección, ¿verdad? Entonces, la idea es que usted vaya conmigo trabajando la sección en la que estamos para que no se vaya a atrasar, porque si ustedes ya se fijaron, ya revisaron la plataforma, tenemos un midterm al medio curso, después de la, de la, de la semana 2 más o menos, y el final exam, que es después, obviamente, ya cuando terminamos la, la cuarta semana. Entonces, aparte de los ejercicios dentro de las, de las unidades o de las secciones, está adicionalmente el midterm y el final exam. Entonces, si usted se va trazando en los ejercicios, en los knowledge checks de cada sección, de repente se va a topar con mucho trabajo y usted va a decir, Dios mío, ¿cómo hago? ¿verdad? Entonces usted tiene que ir como organizándose para ir casi que de la mano conmigo, ¿verdad? Del tema que yo le explico, que es el mismo que se le explico y usted ya con él, el video de la plataforma, mi explicación, se le hace más fácil hacer los ejercicios. Obviamente si usted no entiende un ejercicio y por eso también es la razón del grupo de WhatsApp, ¿Verdad? Que usted puede preguntar en el grupo así de compañeros, este ejercicio no lo puedo resolver, tanto le puedo ayudar yo como cualquier otro compañero, ¿verdad? Eso también es importante en la plataforma, una vez ustedes empiecen a hacer los ejercicios, eh, siempre recuerden de poner mayúscula al, fin, al principio de la oración, punto final si así lo requiere, si es una oración o el signo de pregunta, si es una pregunta y ojo con el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Porque muchos se... Eh, ponen el, la tilde como apóstrofe y ese no se lo va a agarrar nunca a la plataforma. ¿verdad? Entonces a veces dicen, teacher, pero todo lo tengo bueno. ¿Y por qué me la sigue agarrando malo? Y es quizás por el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Entonces la plataforma le va a agarrar el apóstrofe que está en la tecla de, también del signo de... ¿verdad? Entonces vaya fijándose más o menos cuál apóstrofe, cuál es el apóstrofe real y no es la tilde. ¿verdad? Entonces eso con eso... Luego, si usted tiene alguna duda y que de verdad no le sale el ejercicio, como ya les dije, puede uh, uh, escribirlo en el grupo o personalmente yo les mandé hoy temprano de la tarde eh, mi, mi, bueno, les escribí, ¿verdad? Dándole la bienvenida, ya tiene mi número. O sea, usted como que le da penita, ¿verdad? De repente preguntarme algo en, de, en el grupo porque todos lo vamos a leer. Entonces usted puede escribirme, no hay ningún problema a mi, a mi número. Es decirme, teacher, soy del grupo... Eh, pre, eh, perdón, avanzado uno, soy Julio Flores y tengo una pregunta, ¿verdad? Por decirle algo. Entonces yo ya con gusto le ayudo, siempre y cuando también para facilitarme el trabajo, de, por decirle, me dice, teacher, dice que tengo un problema en el ejercicio de la sección 5, por decirle algo, pero necesito que sea más específico. Ese ejercicio en la sección 5, el Knowledge Check 5.3, ejercicio 2, porque entonces así me facilita a mí y le ayudo más rápido para... para para cualquier respuesta o cualquier duda que usted tenga, ¿verdad? Entonces esas son como las generalidades, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta eh, al respecto de cómo funciona la, la plataforma, las clases de Zoom, mi metodología o alguna sugerencia o algo que usted quiera eh, expresar ahorita, por favor, eh, tiene todo la, el tiempo ahorita para hacerlo, abra su micrófono, ¿verdad? Y haga las preguntas que usted tenga. Así es que no sé si alguien tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta. ¿No? No me digan que así son de calladitos y calladitas. Todas, todas. 
No, ¿verdad? Es porque es prim los primeros 15 minutos somos siempre así, no se preocupe. ¿Verdad? Sí, ¿alguien? Bueno, no, sí, una pregunta. Diga. Respecto al grupo de WhatsApp, eh, sí. yo creo que que fue incluido ya un poco tarde, mencionó que habían, habían estado mensaje, mensajeando ya en el grupo. Sí, lo que pasa es que eh, dentro del correo que le, 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 le mandaron a usted de la información donde estaba el ID de la, de, la, de la reunión, ahí mismo le daban el enlace para que usted se una al grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, solo denle clic ahí, ¿verdad? Para que se una al grupo. De hecho, no, no es que haya sido nada ahora, ah. pues eso es lo que me presenté yo para decirles mi nombre y que y nos, nos veíamos hoy a esta hora, ¿verdad? Pero eh, a Milcar no habría ningún problema, ahí tiene que estar en el correo, si no lo encuentra mañana me avisa y ya se lo reenvío yo para que usted se pueda unir eh, usted mismo, ¿verdad? De acuerdo, gracias. Gracias. ¿Alguien más? ¿No? ¿Preguntas? ¿No? No. Ok, very good. So let's begin. Do you want to begin now? Yes? So, so. All right, guys, so. This is advanced class. You were probably wondering why I was speaking Spanish and just, that's just to make sure that, well guys, hold on. It's, it's the rain, I'm sorry. Um, so I was just kind of like making sure that everybody understands. I know you understand, but I needed to make sure that everybody understood what I was saying, okay? So if there are no questions, I'm gonna start, okay? Are we ready? Yes? Ready or so so? No, right? Always ready. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see. Uh, Miguel Angel, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about yourself. I want to know you guys because if this is the first class. I really don't know anybody. So tell me about you guys. So uh, we're going to begin with Miguel, but we're going to go with everybody. All right. So, Miguel, you're the first. Thank you. Well, about me, I'm really just an nobody. <laughs> no, <laughs> Come well, on, just Miguel. kidding. I'm over there. Just kidding over there. Mm -hmm. Well, I came here because I wanted to better my speaking. Okay, to improve your speaking. Because, mm -hmm, to improve my speaking because it's kind of the area I haven't worked much over. Okay. Mainly because right. I spend my time reading ah, uh, right. novels or stuff around okay. in English. Okay. And... Uh, I hardly ever have a time to have a chance to practice in, to practice my English. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, all right, very nice. But you have time here, Miguel, every night. Okay, excellent. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Very Thanks. good. All right, Fatima Ramirez, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Fatima? Okay. Good night. Good evening. Uh, I am here because I want to develop my English because okay. my area is so important that I can speak so well mm -hmm. the okay. English. Okay. I study marketing, so okay, yeah. I had to learn so much English. Right, okay, all right, very good. Welcome, Fatima, thank you so much. Very good, all right, Ivan Galdames. Uh, hi, Ivan, talk to us. Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, I am uh, Ivan I am 24 years old and I am a university student. Okay. I was born in Metapan and I live in here in Metapan. Ah, yes. okay. <laughs> I live alone. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> All uh, right. Um, okay. Uh, in this moment, I, I am a um, university intercycle. Inter All right. And okay. I, I have a job. All right. In this moment. Okay, very nice. Thank you. All right, very nice. Thank you, Ivan. Daisy Aguirre. Talk to us, Daisy. Hi. Hi. Um, I am living in San Francisco. Okay. okay. I work in Santa Ana. I am a teacher. Oh. I am a teacher of preschool. Okay, a preschool teacher. Uh, yes. I in Yes, and I study education because ah. I don't finally my study, but okay. I like it. different things, but English is <laughs> I good and I like it to this. All right, okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Daisy. Let's see, Julio Flores, tell us about yourself. 
Julio, your microphone is off. Okay. There you go. Good evening, everybody. Um, well, my name is uh, Julio Cesar Flores. Julio, I, I can barely hear you. Really? If you wanna go to the net, go back to me, okay? Please. Okay, I really don't know what you're saying, but let's see if someone else can. All right, let's see. Amilcar, what about you, Amilcar? I'll go back to you. Ah, Julio, were you, you were talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julio. Oh, now I hear you. You can hear me now? Yes, now I hear you. Okay. Good, good evening, everybody. My name is Julio Flores. I am 23 years old. I am born and raised here in Metapan City. Oh. Um, yeah. I am in informatic system degree now, well, for the last six years. And now I'm making uh, my job from my career. I'm making my job from my own business. And okay. I'm making because I need to practice my practice okay. my English. I have a really bad pronunciation. And what can I say about that grammar? Really bad. I, I learned the English alone, just listening to music. And for the reason yeah. I have to practice and, and do it better because we need it, OK? OK. The reason right. um, I. I think we're gonna be a really, really nice friends. Uh, I know some people from here, like Jonathan. Um, and well, nice to see you guys. All right, thank you, Julio. All right, very good. Jonathan, tell us about you, Jonathan. Jonathan Monteros, I believe. Your mic is off, Jonathan. Do you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. So I'm Jonathan Monterosa. I'm a physician, okay. um, 32 years old. Um, I have several hobbies. English mm -hmm. is one of them. Um, I also make wine. I also, I'm starting to do hydroponics actually yesterday. And I have a clinic here in Metapan and I think that's it. All right. <laughs> Interesting. That's, I, that's even too much for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Idalia. All right, Idalia, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good My evening. name is Idalia, and some people call me Pema. So if okay. you want, you can call me like that, or Idalia, or Pema. Okay, or perfect. Um, I'm still starting the college. Okay. I'm 20 years old. All right. And I'm here because I wanted to improve my English. So... That's what I hear. <laughs> okay, perfect. Good. And it's great to be here. <laughs> nice. Very good. Thank you, Dalia. Very nice. All right. Eh, Amilcar Posadas, can you tell us about you? Yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name is Amilcar Posada. I live in Metapan City. I work at the City Hall. I am right. an electrical engineer. Right. And I would like to improve my English because I had to to take a, a test the next year. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah. And that's it. All right, okay. Yeah. Cool, Amilcar, thank you, very nice. <laughs> All right, let's see. Marta, Casa. Hi, Marta. I can't hear you, Marta. Yeah. No, we can't. All right. Well, she fixes it. Eric Mendoza. Hi, Eric. Hey, hello, everyone. Can you hey. hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. So my name is Eric Mendoza. I'm 25 years old, and I work with repair and maintenance of air conditioning and I'm studying theology and I've been practicing English since I was 15 years ago. Okay. So okay. I, I'm here because I want to reinforce my weakness in English that, that will be grammar. Okay. So I expect that I'm going to improve. So of course. Okay. I'm happy Perfect. for it. Excellent. Welcome, Eric. Very good. All right, Roxana Navas. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Perfect. 
Okay, hello everybody. And uh, I am Roxana Navas. Uh, I am happy to be here and I want to learn. I am a little nervous. Sorry. No, don't be. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm here to learn more about English because Excellent. I love it. And hey, nice. Is. Very good. Thank you, Roxana. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. That's Armando. Nice. Hello. Hi, Armando. Thank you. Yes. Yes, My Armando. My name is Armando, or you can call me also Enrique because it's my second name. I have been learning English. I have been learning English for five years. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, very good. Let's see, I have David Flores. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, everybody. Hi. As you mentioned, my name is David. And I'm here because I must freshen out my English proficiencies because I want to, because I wish uh, to work in the BPO industry. So sometimes my inconvenience is uh, I can uh, retain some ideas some uh because always go straight to the point and then the ideas just uh leave you know <laughs> i need to think about it but i'm glad to be here with this amazing group guys i, I want to apologize because i don't know how to Hi everybody, my name is Joseph. I live in Metapan City. Um, I am teacher. Um, I like math. math. Yeah, I teach math. Um, well, I see what I need to practice more English. Is, um, I don't know. Um, I hope to learn um, how I speak English more is my teacher my teacher my my say is is que is in, in this course uh, I don't know and I hope this sir a good student but my English is is not good but <laughs> only only says here is uh, you are my a student, yeah. I don't know, it's only only that. All right, thank you, Joseph. Marta, can you tell us about yourself? And then Veronica, and then Laura? Hi. Mm. Okay, you can talk to us, yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. Good night. Um, I am Laura. Um, can you tell me, Fabi? I'm 20 years old. I study in the Naval Force of El Salvador. I want to improve my English and I have better opportunities. Thank you, Laura. That was very nice. Marta, can you listen to us? Or Veronica, Marta and then Veronica. Veronica or Marta, can you talk to us for a little bit? Or hi, hi. Or yes, hi. hi, Veronica. Hi. Well, my name is Veronica. I have a degree in marketing. But life has a funny way to work out. And now I'm at home. Uh, taking care of my parents, parents. Well, just my dad. My mom died just five months ago. So here I am trying to improve improve my English. 
Thank you, Veronica. That was very nice of you. Marta, it's okay. Uh, you can hear us, but we cannot hear you. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Eugenia and then Daisy. Eugenia, no, Daisy, not around? No, I guess not. All right. You see what I say, guys? That's why sometimes I need your cameras to be on because I don't know if you're there. All right. So it's better if we can like have your cameras on and everything. So it's, it's, it works for me better. All right. Okay. So guys, do you have any questions or, or anything that you want to tell us or share with us? Or not? You're okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Hold on. Just give me one, one quick second. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to share with you guys um, if you have. Ivan, did you introduce yourself? Yes, you did, right? Yeah, I think you did. All right. So I'm going to share with you uh, this just to walk you through it. Can you see the form, guys? Can you see it? Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay. Perfect. So this is the platform that I was talking to you about. I know that you already got in it. But this is just, I just wanted to show it to you. Every time we begin a new topic, we have a lesson objective, okay? So it's very important for you to check on the lesson objective because that is the topic I'm going to be talking about, okay? So you have the lesson objective and right after that, you have a, a video, which is called Verb Followed by Jerry, okay? So what I wanna show you is this. We're not gonna listen to the video because you can do that yourselves. But I want to show you something right here. Just let me, uh, yeah, okay. All right, here we have the video that is going to talk about the verbs followed by Jerome, but right down it, you have this discussion box. What I want you to do every time you see the video, usually the teacher asks you to do something on the discussion box type your answers, okay? Because I will check them, all right? So if you type a post, probably tomorrow I will check it and I'm gonna comment, comment on your comment, okay? This is another way for you to practice your um, English by writing it, okay? If you have made a mistake, I'm gonna correct it on my comment. If you haven't, I'm not gonna comment it. I mean, I'm not gonna comment the mistake because there are no mistakes but I will say something about what you just mentioned, okay? So I want you to work on that discussion box also. So tomorrow when I check this video again, I wanna see 18 comments or I, let's see, I have, yeah, 18 comments because I have 18 students in class. So if you, if you comment on the discussion box, you get to write your names, okay? Because then I don't know who, are, who you are. So if you're gonna type something, uh, write Joseph or write Eric or write Laura, okay, or Marta. So I identify who wrote it or who didn't. Is it mandatory? No, okay, but it's a good way for you to practice your writing skills also, okay? Is it clear, guys? Yes? Guys, is yeah. it clear? Yes, okay? okay. Yes, it okay. Is. Excellent, okay, so that's just another way for you to practice, okay? So I just wanted to show you that from the platform, these guys where you see uh, the little pencil, uh, that's a, for example, in that case, it's a listening exercise. And then here you have a knowledge check. But then again, the listening exercise is the one that you have to complete as well as the uh, knowledge check, okay? So whenever something is there, you need to complete it on the platform, all right? Yes, guys, yeah? Okay, so uh, my question, were you able to watch the video for the first class today? Ger uh, verbs followed by gerunds, or you did not watch it? 
No, no, you didn't. I didn't watch it. Excellent. I checked it yesterday. You checked it yesterday. All right. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Did you check it? Not really. No. No. That's okay. No, I forgive I didn't you. Watch it. No, I didn't. That's okay. It's the first class. I forgive you. Okay. Okay. But that's okay. Um. So we're gonna talk about verbs followed by gerund, and I'm gonna show you a presentation I have for you here. I actually have two presentations, okay? And I just want you to work with me. It says gerunds and infinitives, all right? By the way, guys, every time we finish the class, I will send the presentation I used to the WhatsApp group, okay? Just in case you need it, or just in case you want to check it, or just in case you just, I don't know, you just want to see it, all right? So it's always going to be on the WhatsApp group. So gerunds and infinitives, all right, Eddie. Can you read that, please? Eric Mendoza. Your microphone, Eric, is off. Sorry, my bad. That's okay. What That's is okay. a gerund? All right. I, I need to give a, okay, okay. Gerunds are made by adding ing to the base form of a verb. All right, very good. So what I want to show you guys before we start talking about verbs followed by gerund is I want to remind you what a gerund is, okay? Continue, Eric, please. Do plus ing equals doing. All right. Swim plus ing equals swimming. Fall plus ing equals uh, falling. Excellent. All right. Uh, Ivan Galdames, thank you, Eric. Ivan Galdames, can you keep on reading now, please? Sorry, teacher. Can you repeat this? Yeah, can you read Ivan for me, please? Around word like nouns in the sentence. Okay. So sometimes, guys, we have gerunds, and I'm going to stop this right here. We're going to keep on watching it in a couple of seconds. We have gerunds, as you saw and as Eric was reading. When we talk about gerunds, we have the verb, the main verb, plus ing. For example, do, doing, swim, swimming, play, playing, uh, cook, cooking, dance, dancing. Now, you have to remember and you have to be careful. Gerunds is not the same as present continuous tense. Okay, don't get confused. They have the same structure. They have the ing at the end, but they are not present continuous. It is not the present continuous tense. It's a gerund. It's a noun. It becomes a noun. Okay, having that in mind and having said that, we can use gerunds and we can use them as nouns, as subjects, and all the other things that we're gonna watch. So far, do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Do you understand the difference between a gerund and a present continuous tense? Yes? You sure? See, si no, you can tell me and it's okay, I can explain. Guys, okay or so-so? Explain me again, please. Explain again? Please. Julio? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right, Julio. Remember that present continuous is when you have, for example, a write, writing, yes? But the present continuous, Julio, is used with the verb be, always. For example, we say, I am writing. You are writing. She's listening. He's speaking. All right? He, um, he's eating. We are listening to Jessica. All right? So the present continuous is happening in this moment and you use it with the verb be always, all right? Whereas the gerund, Julio, it's a name. For example, I can say, I like swimming, all right? Swimming is a gerund. I am not using the, I, the uh, verb to be. I'm, I, I'm telling you, I like swimming. Swimming is a noun, it's a name of the sport. Yes, you can say, I hate cooking, all right? Cooking is the ing, it has the ing, but it's not the present continuous. If I would use it as present continuous, I would say, I am cooking, right? But I'm telling you, oh, I hate cooking, all right? It's the name of the activity, all right? Yes, Julio? 
Yeah, all right, very yeah, good. Anybody you, else has a question? Question? I just want to make a comment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go ahead. And so we can so we can say that ing it makes like uh, the action to the verb. So that's why we can say like um I love um singing. So for me it will be like the actions adding to the verb when you say ing. So I don't it's, know. Yeah, but grammatically speaking, I understand your point, Eric, but grammatically speaking, it's not the action, it's the name of the activity. The action is the verb previous to that. For example, you say, I, I love singing, okay? What's the activity to love it, all right? What is the activity that you love? Singing, all right? So singing is the name of, case is the name of the activity, right? It's acting as a name, right? Okay? Okay, I got right. it. Thanks. Excellent, very good. Any other question or any other comment, guys? No? All right. No. Okay, don't, don't be shy. If you have a question, please ask me, okay? This is what I'm here for, to explain it to you. Okay, so let's continue here. Okay, so gerunds as nouns, okay? It's, remember that the, the, the gerunds is like the name of something, okay? So sometimes we can use them as nouns. Sometimes gerunds work like nouns in a sentence. Examples, all right? Julio, can you read those two sentences, please? The mic, yeah. Gerund, as nouns. Sometimes gerunds work like a noun in a sentence. Example, smoking is dangerous, swimming is healthy. All right, excellent, very good, Julio. Julio, very good, okay. Another way, I know that translating is not, um, it's not good at this point, but just for you to understand it, if this would be uh, present continuous, we would say nadando, es peligroso. But we, that doesn't make sense in Spanish. We say nadar es peligroso, right? Uh, por de, perdón, nadar es, es healthy, <laughs> es saludable, all right? Smoking is dangerous. I did it the other way around, all right? <laughs> Smoking is dangerous, guys, all right? Not swimming, all right? So hey, you can't drown too. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Estoy dando un mal consejo. I'm sorry, uh, guys. All right. <laughs> okay. But smoking is the name of the activity or the noun in this case. Okay. I like shopping. She hates running. All right. So we're talking about the name of the activity. What does she like? Shopping. That's the activity. What does she hate? Running. All right. Okay, so in sentence one and in sentence two, the germ is the subject of the sentence. It's the beginning of the sentence, okay? But you see that? In sentence three and four, the germ is the object of the verb. It's the one that receives the action of the verb, okay? So what do you like? Shopping. What does she hate? Running. All right, you can also use gerunds after a preposition, all right? Let's see, Miguel Angel, can you read this, please? Okay, gerunds after a preposition. The gerund is the only form of verbs take after a preposition, on, in, by, with, under, through, at, after, before, as, of, of, etc. All right, continue, please. Water is needed for growing plants. We passed the exam by working hard. I am tired of working so many hours. Excellent, okay? So another way that you guys can identify when this uh, form is a gerund is because they are the only form of verbs that take after a preposition, all right? So you cannot say, for example, water is needed, uh, I don't know, for, for grow plant, you need an uh, you need a gerund. You have to say for growing plant. Yes, you cannot say we pass the exam by work hard. No, by working hard. So after a preposition, you're always going to use. In this case, you're going to use a gerund. Okay, do you understand? Everybody understands. Girls, you understand? Amilcar, Jonathan, Eugenia, Daisy, Fatima. Yes, if I understand. 
Yes. Excellent. All right. Let's continue then. Yes. When do you use gerunds after verbs? Uh, Laura, can you read this, please, honey? Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Laura? No, no. Uh. When do you, oh, yes. wait. Okay. When do you, when do you use herons after verbs? Huh? There are no pardons for the rule. You must memorize which verbs are followed by gerunds and which are followed by infinities, which we will get to in a moment. Thank you, Laura. Very good. All right, guys. So this is something like if you will okay, Jessica. Remember that the topic on the platform is verbs followed by gerunds, okay? So you may be asking yourself, aha, Jessica, when do I use these verbs? When do I, when do you use gerunds after verbs, okay? Number one, there are no patterns for this rule, guys, okay? And number two, you must memorize which verbs are followed by gerunds and which are followed by infinitives, okay? There's no other way. The same way you guys learn the, the, I don't know, the regular verbs and the irregular verbs in English, this is the same way that you have to memorize which verbs are followed by gerund and which verbs are followed by infinitive, okay? Do you have any questions? No questions? No? All right. Nice. All right, Edwin, can you continue reading, please? Acknowledge. Can you hear me? I cannot. I can. I can barely hear you, Edwin. I hear you a little bit. Uh, mm. Okay. Can you hear me? A little bit. Oh, I have a problem here in my computer. Sorry. I have a problem. With this, um, all right. That's, that's okay, that's okay. They, that's okay, they will, thank you. Daisy, can, do you mind reading it, Daisy? Daisy Aguirre, do you mind reading? Yes. Can you read loud and clear? Okay. Birds that are followed by gerunds. Yeah, read the list, Daisy, please. Read it. Okay. Okay. Um, Dislike, enjoy, escape, excuse, right. okay. fancy, finish, in manage, involve, keep, make, mind, meet, report, recall, recall, yet, regret, resist, risk, suggest, understand, recommend. All right, very good. Okay, guys. So this is a small list, guys, of verbs that are followed by gerund. They are not the only ones, okay? There are many more. This is only the, the, the tip of the iceberg, okay? So don't go saying, oh, there are only like 20 verbs. No, there are a lot more. What you have to do is that you have to um, memorize them and you have to find them yourself, okay? So we have acknowledge, admit, anticipate, appreciate, avoid, can't stand, celebrate, Consider, delay, deny, detest, dispute, 
dislike, enjoy, escape, excuse, fancy, finish, imagine, involve, keep, make, miss, postpone, practice, prevent, propose, quit, report, recall, recollect, regret, resist, risk, suggest, understand, and recommend. Okay? So this is a small list, guys, of verbs that are followed by gerund. Do you have any questions? No questions? I, I have a question. Yes. The, the pronunciation is I acknowledge. 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 No, acknowledge, no. Acknowledge. Uh, knowledge. Okay. Uh, knowledge. Yes, Laura. Very good. Thank you, Laura. Thanks. Nice. Thank you. Anybody uh, else with a question? On my side, I have found a little bit of a trick referring to this. Uh -huh. um, it's like you kind of know which verbs are followed by gerund because you are referring to an action, right. and so you uh, and right. so you can. Think of what ways you can refer to an action. <laughs> right. Yes. All right. Yeah. And I'm going to thank you, Miguel. That's very nice. I'm going to actually give you uh, a tip, let's say, that can help you related to what Miguel was saying. All right. Thank you, Miguel. Anybody else with any other comment or any other question? Hello. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hello. Can you say me the meaning of acknowledge? It's like to know. Ah, oh, okay. Marta, I can hear you now. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, acknowledge is like when you realize of something, when you get to know something, you acknowledge that uh, you were here, for example. I kind of saw it, I realized it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Marta. Very nice. All right, let's continue. If anybody, anybody else with a question or comment, guys? No? Um, I yes. have, um, can, yeah. I see fancy, but you say fancy. Uh, is like uh, the accent from United Kingdom, or what is yeah, uh, the correct word to say it? I say fancy when something is yeah, fancy. But, yeah. All right. But yeah. I, 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 sometimes I heard like um, there is a song that it says, "Oh, so fancy, you already know," right. something like that. I guess it depends. <laughs> but, I mean, but she said. Yeah, she say fancy, and so I have a confusion. So, right, you know. the, uh, I guess it depends, Eric, on the accent. I learned my English in Canada, and sometimes I have some words that I say it differently. For example, I say direction, and people in, in the United States, they say direction. All right, so I don't know if I'm saying it the Canadian way. <laughs> yeah, right, so it, ev everything depends on the idioms, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, very good. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Eric. All right, let's go on here, guys. Okay, now we have a, a, another list of verbs that are followed by infinitive. This is not the topic for tonight, but I'm going to show it to you anyway so you see them. All right, let's see. Um, who wants to read this for me? Oops. I need a volunteer, guys. I can read. Yes, thank you, Marta. Okay, the infinity of the verb is the basic form of the verb. Can I continue? There are two forms of infinitive, swims, live, eat, play. Bear infinitive, to swim, to live, to eat, to play. Full infinitive. Thank you, Marta. Do you guys understand the difference between bear infinitive and full infinitive, guys, all of you? Are the no. difference? No? No. All right. No. When we talk Not about, exactly. Okay. When we talk about very infinitive is when we know it's an infinitive, but we don't add the particle to. We just have swim. But because it's not being conjugated in any tense or in any form, we understand that it's very infinitive. Okay? So instead of saying to swim, you say swim. Instead of saying to live, you say live. All right, so sometimes when you see some sentences and you see the, the verb without any conjugation in number or in tense, but you don't see the particle two before it, that's very infinitive. 
that's another topic we're going to actually talk about later on, all right? But the very infinitive is the verb in infinitive without the particle to, okay? All right, guys? Yes? No? So, so? Don't worry about it. We're going to... <laughs> All right, that's okay. But right now, the, the point right now is Jerry's, okay? Not infinitive. We have another class for that, okay? Okay. Let's see. All right, infinitives after adjectives. I'm not going to show you this one. I mean, it's on the PPT, but I don't want to talk about infinitives too much today because that's not the topic. It's Jerry's the topic, all right? All right. So this is another list, guys, of verbs that are followed by infinitive, okay? And then this one is also infinitives. Okay, now you have another or other types of verbs that are followed by either gerunds or infinitives, okay? So you can e use either or, okay? Now, I know, guys, that this, um, the topic is verbs uh, verb followed by gerund, but it's very important for you to know when uh, or the difference when to gerund or when to use infinitives, okay? That's why I wanted to show you this presentation about both, okay? But the idea here is gerund's um, verbs after gerund. Now, something I forgot to mention, guys, is that after this class, I have another class, okay? So every night I'm going to stop the class at 8.55, like right now, because I just start my other class at nine, okay? So it's not that I wanna go, it's that I have to go, <laughs> okay? So tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on talking about gerund, verse, uh, verse followed by gerund, and we're going to practice. Today we didn't practice because it was the intro to the class, and I, I mean, I wanted to know you guys and everything, so tomorrow you will do some practices with your groups, okay? With different students, with different um, uh, classmates, all right? So tomorrow we're gonna keep on talking a little bit about this topic. Please watch the video on the platform and write on the discussion box. I'm gonna be checking them, okay? Thank you so much for being with me the first class. It was a pleasure to see you. And I hope you can learn a lot or a little bit. But, I mean, you have to be open-minded and always learn something new, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The same link, the same ID, and the same time, okay? Bye, guys. Thank you. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 B